Hi guys. This is gonna be my best work lunch ever. Best work lunch ever. Cause guess what? The chicks are in. I'm going to pick up chicks. Yay! Yay! Just got the call from a laughing post office employee. Hard to find though sometimes. No offense to post office employees, but she was laughing. And she said, your, your package of baby chickens are here. And I said, awesome. I'll be right there. So right before I left the house, I filled up their water dish. I filled up their feed tube and found out the feed tube somehow has some kind of clog that Dave's going to have to look at. Um, but there is a dish in there that's large enough for food, so they'll have some food. And I plugged in the um, brooder heat plate um, and made sure that the video camera was working because I'm working at my new job. So I can't sit there and just lovingly adore them all day long. Um, so <sighs> now my office is right on the other side of the wall where they're where they are because they'll be in the mudroom bathroom because there's room there um, and a brooder. So I should be able to hear them through the walls, cheep 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 cheeping, hopefully lightly. <laughs> and I can look at them in my through the camera uh, via my phone, but. Yeah, I can't just sit there and watch them. I can watch them as long as my lunch hour is, but uh, but no longer than that. And this is pretty cool. So what I hope to do when I get them back, because I'm going straight there and then come straight back, I'm actually going to seat belt them in the car, is uh, I hope to set up my camera on the tripod so that you can kind of see the process of what happens when you bring um, baby chicks home what you should be doing first, second, third, fourth. So the, the, the hatchery said the hatch date was yesterday, that they all were born yesterday. I, I, and they also said they might ship in separate um, packages. I ordered three of three different kinds. So I ordered nine total. Um, I hope they put them all together and sent them. But if not, I'll just take a lunch break tomorrow and I'll take another lunch break the next day to pick them all up. Um, but the, think of, it, it's okay too. It's okay that they ship them like that. They ship them the day, like the day they're hatched. They get to people the second day or the third day after they've been hatched because a hen um, doesn't usually just lay one egg and, and just sit on one egg. She can lay you know six or seven um like one each day and sit on them she could also be laying other chickens eggs laying on other chickens eggs as well to incubate them so when the first ones that she lays start hatching there's still a bunch of them that are in egg shape in form egg form so she's not necessarily going to leave the nest and teach them where the water is and where the food is right away necessarily she might when she gets up to do her one time that she gets up. And I'm talking about a broody hen, what a broody hen would actually normally do. So a broody hen might get up once a day to get food and water, take a big broody poop, it's big and smelly, and then go back to the nest and sit, and that's it. Um, so when the chicks start hatching, they may sit under her for a day, maybe two days, until most of them are have hatched before she actually goes out and starts teaching them what to do and where to find what they need. Um, woo! So exciting. So I said that because that means that when they're hatched that the first day and they're put in the box and sent, they can live without the food and the water. Now, I'm crossing my fingers hoping that, you know, they are not put in, um, you know, air-conditioned vehicles or vehicles that are too warm or trucks that are warm you know they're more climate controlled I'm assuming they would have them climate controlled um, since it's, you know it should say like live animal and should have holes in the box um, so they do have some leeway when you know uh, as far as getting the, the box to the post office and usually a lot of times they don't deliver to the house they deliver to the post office the post office calls you you got to go pick them up um, and there's some 
something else about that I wanted to tell you. I don't know. But if you get chicks, you always make sure everything is ready to go. Just like if you know you're going to be having a baby, you prepare the nursery ahead of time. So when you bring the baby home, there's already a crib set up. There's already diaper pails. There's already, you know, changing stations. You've already got either formula or bottles or what, whatever it is you need for the baby. You want to make sure that that is all set to go. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, there was an issue with um, during the COVID times when the... Was it COVID? Yeah, it was the lockdowns were going on where um, packages were had been just sitting at the post office for like too long. And people would get their chicks weeks later and they, they didn't make it. So this is living, these are living things. They're relying on me to take care of them. Um, when I when I ride home, they're going to be pee, 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 peeping the whole time. I will be talking to them in the car so they get to you know my voice. Every time I go by that area, I'll be talking to them. I will make deliberate efforts in the morning and at night to say good morning, to say um, good, good night. And um, I will be making efforts. I did not do that as much with this very last batch we had of three, where two turned out to be roosters and one is a hen. Her her name's Lenore, and she's a black one. She's a, the Marin color, and she's a little vicious little bird because I did not handle her enough. Um, so if I go to get eggs from her, she screams as if she is a broody, which they scream like a dinosaur, and they peck it. They peck if they're broody. Well, she does that even though she's not broody because she just does not like hands. She does not like people. I did not handle her enough. So these, I'm going to have to handle a lot more so they get accustomed to what I'm doing. Um, and for all the other ticks, even even like uh, Zora, who's kind of skittish, um, at night we can go in and give treats and like pet their, their breast, which they like underneath, like where their crop is. They like that. They don't like to be pet on the head, don't pet them on the back, but they do like their breast pet like this. It's comforting to them or it feels good to them. So we can do that with all of the other ones, but not Lenore. And uh, ask me how I know, and that's because I tried it last night. Woo, she pecked me and hard. Did I just miss the po No, I didn't miss it. Um, she pecked me hard. So that's why it's important to hold the chicks. Now, not all day long and not, you know, for extended periods of time, but you do need to pick them up and handle them some so they get used to the hands. And I never like drop them back down. I always, and I never let them go, oh, as they're going down. I always hold their wings when I set them down on the ground so that when they, when I set them down, it's a gentle setting. So every time I set them down, it's very gentle. Every time I pick them up, it's gentle and quick so they don't get all kerfluffly. Kerfluffly? Oh, here we go. I'm going to go pick up the package. Maybe I'll take you along. Let's see what they, if they'll let me do that. I don't know why they wouldn't. Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Switch you around. I'm going to take you with. I'm going to take you with. Um, I probably only need my wallet or an ID so they can say, oh my goodness, look at this crazy lady. But they'll be glad to see me. Watch. <laughs> Okay, Jeff. Okay, great. You can do more for you. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hi, you have chickens for me. Yes. Is it okay if I record? I'm not recording you or your face. No, you're fine. I just like to show people what happens. Is it chickens? <laughs> you're gonna pick it up. Hi, chickens. Hello, babies. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Does it say on here how many are in? 
in there? It doesn't tell us. It doesn't no. tell you. Okay. Usually, I could tell you, but but they have soldered the sides down because usually we try to peek at them. Yeah. yeah. To see, like, but now they stapled up. Now we're like, oh. you want to know? Great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yay! All right, I got. I need two hands. Love you guys. See you in a bit. Finish. There we go. All right, guys. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, yeah. All right, so I did wash my hands already. I am going to open this box gently. They were strapped down with my seatbelt on the way home. Cheapen, cheapen, cheapen. There's one that's cheapen that seems to be louder than the other ones. Maybe the, the ringleader here. Oh! Three, six. Oh, so there's still three more. Oh my gosh, they're loud. Here's the babies. Here's babies. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we got another. All right, I'm going to grab one. And what I like to do is, when I have them, I look at their butt really quick. Make sure there's nothing stuck on their butts. Nothing on their butts. That would be called pasty butt. And do you see how they just relax when they're on their back like that? That's natural. You can get them to calm down when you flip them over, but you can't do it for too long because it's not good for their breathing all the time. Then, because they were in the package, they didn't drink anything, you dip their beak in the water so they know where the water is and let them go. There you go, baby. Drink that water. Drink that water, baby, baby. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. I'm going to do the same process with all of them. There's a little yellow one. Oh, they're still warm. I'm going to flip them over. Make sure there's no pasty butt. Okay. Dip it in the water. I know it doesn't look good, but it's okay. One more. There you go. There you go. Okay. Nothing on the butt. Dipping in the water. There they know where the water is. There we go. As soon as one or two start drinking, the others all follow. Good girl. Get that water. Good girl. Yes, get it. Good girl. Yes. If not, you can tap like a mama bird. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. And they will get to it. They cannot drown. It's not deep enough. Okay, here's one. Dip your butt first. Good. Dip it. There you go. These are nine. Oh, that's my hand. That's my hand. Okay. Nothing on the butt. These are cute. Okay. Dip. There you go. Take the water. There you go. They may walk in the water. They may jump in the water. They may try and roll around in the water like ducks, but they're not ducks. These are all supposed to be females as well, so. Supposed to be hens from a hatchery. They know what they're talking about. Okay. Oops, what was going on? Nothing. Just their legs. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Pardon me. Dip it. Put them down. Did you get the water? Did you get some? There you go. Good girl. Oh, see? Now they're eating already. Good girl. A lot of times you just have to peck like a mama bird. You like peck. Oh, there you go. Get in your water. Earn your food. And they come to it. So that is six there. Oh, they're all in here. Hi, sweetie. Come here. Oh, gosh, you're cute. And warm. All right. But it's okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. There you go. Okay, two more. Come on, little one. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. But it's okay. This one's actually banded. That's unusual. I don't know what the band's for. Then maybe there's instructions in there. Okay. Dip. Good. There you go. Get your water. There you go. Uh oh. Is that too much water? You'll be okay, little one. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. 
Yeah, you'll be okay. There you go. Follow your friends. Get some food. There you go. Last one. Hi, sweetie. I know. I see the best for last at night. Okay. We're good there. Come here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dip. There you go. I thought you'd drink some. There you go. Here's your food. Can you see them all? Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're so adorable. So, that is it from the box. Oh, and I think the box has something that keeps it. I'm not sure. They gave me a little... Oh yeah, it's a heat pack. Okay. And then they gave me a little packet of something to add to their water. And, here we go. How fun that is. And then, underneath here, it's warm. And, it's called, this is called a brooder plate. So only the bottom gets warm. Really warm. Like a mama hen. And then I put cardboard on top so they can jump up on top. And they will end up pooping all over the cardboard. I'll replace it. I also put, not everybody does, but I also put feather dusters in here to make like mama. And then like to hide in there. And they'll figure it out. First they got to get their food in their water. Which they're working on. They're doing pretty well. Yeah. I kind of watch to make sure everyone is drinking, everyone is eating. It's a little crowded on that side, though, isn't it? For the water. We have to move that. But with a brooder plate in here, too, I don't have a whole lot of room. Now you're standing in the water. You're not a duck. You gonna get stuck back there, too? Huh? This is very heavy with glass, um, and when they get bigger, when they start flying around, they'll fly on top of here and poop. They'll try and fly on top of there and poop. I think they poop everywhere, typically. Especially new things. It's almost like it's almost like toddlers that teeth on everything or, be, or puppies. Seems to be the rite of passage or initiation or I don't know what. There you go. Now I'm curious to see if anyone else is banded. This is my little one. It looks like a little penguin. Can you get some food, honey? Can you need some help? Here. You gonna eat? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. I don't know if they really hear me or not. If they understand or not. But I usually use that tone whenever I see them doing something I'm hoping they want they'll do. Good girls. Drink that water. Drink that water. Yes. Yes. Run, run, run. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm going to pack up everything. You see your baby. You see they're cold. going to be okay. Let's see. see how this one does. Might just be a little, might be a little, 
late bloomer. Whoops. May end up growing to be the bully. I don't know, that dish looks like it's a little too high. Maybe. Looks like they really have to reach to get in there or step inside. So I may have to make some additions. That's okay. I have I have a feeder and a waterer that I could use instead. I have used for the other ones. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Eat that food. Good girl. So that's what they are first. Very hungry and very thirsty. And when they start feeling cold, they'll come to the brooder. Which I'm going to raise these up. I didn't realize they'd be so big. I'll raise these up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. All right. A little taller for them. Now tap it. And they're going to come to the tapping. See, they're curious. I want to see what's going on. That's what Mama does. It's very warm under here for them. They will like it. Oh, okay, that's the one that's been yelling so loud. The same one? Good. That's warm under there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you guys, I gotta get back to work soon. Yeah, you're the one that's been yelling all the time, aren't you? Come here, you cold? Come here. Curious? Good. There he is, it's good. There you go, come on. It's warm in here, come on. Good, good girl. Good girl, they're all girls. I can say good girl. You know, baby, baby. You know, baby. I'm gonna put some more food in there. Fill it up a little further. I feel like they have to reach far. I know. I'm a baby. I'm a ba mothering hen. Here you go. Eat your food, babies. Eat your food. I want to make sure everyone is eating. That's how I'm drinking. Come here, little dude. Are you cold? Are you cold? Kind of wobbly, aren't you? Can you walk? Mm. 
should be holding him so much, but her. But I just, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. And then raising up the uh, water a little bit usually helps it keep it cleaner longer. But of course, I already have some shavings in there. And unfortunately, little runts you to get picked on. I need more water. Come here, sweetie. Come here. I need some water. Good girl. A little more water. Good girl. You dehydrated? Maybe. There you go. There you go. Is that better? Do you need more water? Get some more water. You can do it. It's a long trip, wasn't it? It's a scary trip with the little bird. Mm -hmm. You got it. You can do it. Come on. Ooh, you're moving. Come on. Come on, little one. Thirsty bird? There you go. Come on. Oh, baby bird. Show what to do. Stop hovering. Come on, little guy, little girl. Come on, baby, baby, baby. It's okay, sweet baby. Come on, well, go see what your sisters are doing. I know, I know. I know, see what your sisters are doing. Get a drink, get some water, good girl. Come on, get some water. You can do it. Good girl, come on. Come on, see what they're doing. Good girl. Come on, some more water. Good girl. Some water. You can do it. You can do it. What I like about the bowl is it's actually screwed on to the bottom. So no matter how many times they jump up on top, they're not going to tip it over. A lot of loose little bowls. You know, the sides will be lower, but then they'll stand on the edge and flip it. And it was food all over, which, you know, I don't necessarily like the food everywhere. Worse is water. The water spills. But if food is on the bottom here, it does encourage them to peck which is something that's important to do, too.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girls. Good girls. Come on. Come on. Over here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Sorry. I, I always do the baby voice. I can't help it. Come here. Good girls. Good girls. Yes. Good girls. Good girls. Yes. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come here. I'm going to clean you off. I gotcha. It's okay. It's all right, sweetie. I'm so sorry. We clean off the shavings. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to have to get going. You guys are going to have to figure it out, aren't you? Oh. You get cold, you're coming in here, aren't you? Are you cold? Come on. Come on. Let's go. You feel better in there? It's warmer. fall asleep they uh, will sleep like laying down <laughs> we'll come in and look and peek or I'll look in the camera and it'll look like they're like just dead laying there but they just sleep hard they sleep like toddlers do after a long day okay there you go okay you know where the warm part are is just warm up there you go and you can come out good girls good girls it's okay come on little one Oh, no, you're going to be all wet. Oh, baby, baby. Mm. You're going to Swedish. Put the lid down. We'll come back and see you later. Oh. Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed this version of <laughs> Chicks Home. <laughs> chicks coming home. Picking up chicks. Love you guys. Bye.